What's up boys and girls, Hovac and Ellen here and before we get into the topic of the video I have a little announcement. Ellen is now endorsing line 6. That's right. Yay! <laughs> yeah, and since she became an artist of line 6 and they have a new product in the market, they asked if we would be interested in checking it out and maybe shoot a video for it. I said yes. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. They are not paying us to shoot this video. So everything you're gonna hear and listen is our, you know, honest opinion and uh, non-biased, basically. So what it is? It's the Pod Express uh, base, basically. A lot of good stuff in just one pedal. If you are familiar with the Line Six Helix ecosystem, if you will. It's basically the smallest version of Helix. It has uh, the same quality of amp modeling, the cabinets, effects, all that stuff in just one uh, one pedal form. That's it. You want to tell them what it is? Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Whatever you know so far about the pedal. Okay, so what I know is that it's pedal for bass, mm -hmm. <laughs> first of all and that it has like a lot of different types of pedals in one basically. There's compression, there's synth, there's distortion and other stuff like mod, delay, chorus, phaser mm -hmm. and there's seven different amps in one. Right and I will tell you what amp, mo uh, amp models are there. So it has seven uh, amps right so the first one which is round it's the Ampeg B15NF Portaflex, I'm reading from the manual. Uh, the second one, which is the Grit, it's the Ampeg SVT, normal channel. The third one is the Vintage, which is the Fender Basement Silver Panel. The fourth one is the Punch, which is the Gallen Kruger uh, GK800 RB. Uh, the fifth one uh, is the modern one, which is the Dark Glass Electronic Microtubes. B7K Ultra. The sixth one is the studio uh, amp, which is the Aguilar Tone Hammer. And the seventh one is the Dip, which is the Mesa Boogie M9 Carbine. And when you uh, put it on off, it basically means there is no amp modeling, it's just the clean bass signal. That's it, you can go on. Yeah, and there's for the delay, there's Delay tap. Mm -hmm. Tap. I forgot the actual name, but tap. Tap tempo. Tap tempo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's also a tuner. There's also a tuner. And there's also a little thing for headphones <laughs> where you can. <laughs> little thing? <laughs> <laughs> plug in your headphones and you can hear the bass from your headphones. It's also really useful for angry neighbors and, angry. <laughs> and family members and especially and since you live in an apartment <laughs> and your dog. They have sensitive ears. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's also great for practicing. You just plug in your headphones and blast it in your headphones if you want. Blast it. And you can, you know, hear the bass like fully loaded. Uh, it has it has uh, other great features as well. It also has uh, seven different cabinets that you can choose from. Uh, for each amp, uh, you can you know switch around and play with it. Uh, and if you if you want to change the EQ for each amp, you can just press the Alt and uh, you know change the bass, mids, treble, and also the gain. Uh, and it also great for saving presets. It has three banks of seven presets, which is uh, which is you know amazing. If, especially if you are uh, if you are in a cover band, let's say that scenario. If you are in a cover band and you need to use lots of different tones for your bass, you just go to the preset mode, press both uh, knobs at the same time, and then scroll through the presets and there you go you have your 
saved presets. You can use same amp with different presets, like 21 different presets for the same amp, or you can choose whatever amp you want. Amazing stuff. So that's pretty much it uh, about the pedal itself. And I forgot one yep. small little thing. You yeah. can change the volume. You, you, you said that. I did? Yeah. With the headphones? Yeah, you said that. I did? Yeah. Oh, well, that's in that L case, move on. That's Ellen's memory right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, let's go uh, to the interesting part and let's check out Where? the sound in the mix. The interesting part where Ellen plays bass. Where Ellen plays bass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see how it sounds in the mix and then we'll come back and uh, finalize it, okay? Dramatic S exit. <laughs>
All right, that was Ellen playing bass through the Pod Express bass pedal. Uh, and just so you know, I did not use any processing whatsoever. Whatever you were hearing was coming out of the pedal and that was it, that's it. No processing at all. I just connected the, uh, the pedal to the audio interface directly and that's it, we recorded the bass. So I think it's great, it sounds great in the mix. You obviously heard the different you know, genres, different tones, so. That's pretty much it for this pedal. If you want to purchase it, I will have the affiliate link. It doesn't cost you anything to purchase it, uh, anything more to purchase it. It just helps the channel. We get a little kickback from the affiliate link. That's it. So if you want to get one for yourself, uh, I think it's $179, which is amazing for this pedal. Nice. For, for so, like so many tones and so many options. So yeah. That's it for this video. Uh, huge thanks to our supporters on Patreon. Uh, we continue doing, uh, you know, what we love to do. Only, you know, thanks to your support and love and, you know, uh, all the good things that you guys are doing for this channel and for Ellen. So, thanks a lot. And as always, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the like button, share, comment, and as always, we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Peace. Peace. <laughs>